Hello friends, so welcome to yet another problem solving session on trigonometry. Now we have this question here. It's given that if tan square theta plus secant theta is 5, then we have to find the value of cos theta. Okay, so our uh, relation has been given between tan theta and secant theta and we have to find out cos theta. So how to go about it? We know that we have learned certain trigonometric identities. Yep. So trigonometric identities will be used to solve this problem. So basically, if cos theta is to be found out, we will resolve or you know reduce everything here like tan and secant in terms of cos. And let's see how it is done. So starting from the equation given, so I can write tan square as sine square theta by cos square theta plus 1 upon cos theta, right? And this is equal to 5, right? Secant is 1 upon cos and tan is sine upon cos. Now going further, so sine square theta using this identity sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1. You can express sine square as 1 minus cos square theta. So hence 1 minus cos square theta divided by cos square theta plus the given 1 plus cos theta is 5. So this is step number 2. Going further, I take LCM of the denominator. Going further, I take the LCM of the denominators. I get cos square theta. Then simplifying, you'll get 1 minus cos theta. Cos square theta comes as it is. And it is cos here and denominator here is cos square so cos will come over here correct now simplifying further 1 minus cos square theta plus cos theta is equal to this goes here so it becomes 5 cos square theta correct now simplifying further so minus cos square theta here and 5 cos square theta so if you take all of them together on one side you'll get 6 cos square theta this cos theta when goes on the other side it becomes minus cos theta and then and then minus 1 equals to 0. This is the final equation which you get. If you see, this is a quadratic equation. Now, uh, if you see, we have a quadratic equation in cos theta. So let us assume cos theta to be x. So hence, the equation becomes 6x square minus x minus x minus 1 equals 0. Now, uh, what we have done here is, if you know quadratic formula, you can always uh, find out... Uh, the solution but we have used the splitting the middle term here and once you split the middle term the x minus x in the middle term can be expressed as minus 3x plus 2x then you can factorize like this and finally you get a quadratic equation in this form factored in this form so hence we get x equals to half and x equals to minus 1 upon 3 now we'll also check whether we have done it correctly or not so if you see cos theta is half we find out tan theta which comes out to be root 3 and then secant theta is equal to 1 upon cos that is 2. So hence if we deploy back those values in the given relation, this one. So we see that LHS comes out to be equal to RHS. So when I do tan square theta plus secant theta, it becomes 5. Similarly, when you take cos theta is minus 3, then also you get tan square theta plus secant theta as 5. That indicates that both the solution that means cos theta is half and cos theta is minus 1 by 3 are correct. 